Hey everyone, welcome back, episode number 26, and today we are taking a look at needles and thread on your Cobra Class 4 sewing machine. Now this information does work on the Cobra Class 3 and also the King Cobra, so let's take a look. Okay, so this machine uses a 794 needle system, also known as 7x3 or 7x4, and can use needle sizes from 20 all the way up to 27. To change the needle, you need to unscrew the needle locking screw and slide the used needle downwards to remove it. Next, grab your fresh new replacement needle and slide the needle all the way up into the needle bar and lock it into place. The position of loading a new needle into the needle bar is critical for the operation of the machine. Be sure to insert the needle with the scarf facing to the right. Also make sure that the needle is inserted all the way up into the needle shaft. So for this machine, a proper loaded needle will always have the needle scarf facing to the right. This is important because the timing of the hook will grab the thread from the needle and complete the stitch. So double check to make sure that your needle has the scarf in the correct right facing position. The hand lever changes the direction of your stitch from forward to backwards and also adjusts your stitch length. The numbers on the side are irrelevant and are used as indicator markings. You can adjust the lever by unscrewing the thumb wheel and moving the lever and then locking it back into place so it stops at that specific position every time. Let's talk about thread. There are so many options, colors, and suppliers for thread. A good suggestion is to order a thread color chart to help you decide what color and thickness thread for your project. The standard thread size that the Cobra Class 4 can use is 138 to 415. Alright, grab some scrap leather that is similar to your project and test out different stitch lengths until you find a desirable look. So for this stitch demonstration, we have some scrap leather that we will increase the lever while sewing to show you some real-time stitch length adjustments. Right here we have some standard stitches and then we will increase the stitch length and then back down to smaller stitches. This is a great, quick, easy way to find that perfect stitch look that you want for your project. Here's a helpful tip. Try to avoid dropping your thread spool because it can become deformed like this one here and the thread does not come off the cone easily anymore. Also, be aware that if you drop your bobbin, that can potentially have thread distribution issues in the bobbin case. All right, that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you find any of this information helpful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on next week's episode. Take care.